Two tornadoes touched down when the storms came through central Indiana earlier this week. The National Weather Service says the first was 18 miles west of Lafayette near Pine Village. That twister, an EF0, with estimated wind speeds of 70 miles an hour. It touched down in a cornfield and it did cause some crop damage. The second was northeast of Greencastle in Putnam County. That EF1 tornado had wind speeds of up to 90 miles an hour. Both tornadoes touched down briefly, traveling about a tenth of a mile. And cleanup underway right now to south of Indianapolis in Johnson County. After a tornado touched down there early on Sunday morning. It happened in the Princess Lakes area. That twister was on the ground for less than 10 minutes, but in that time it did damage about 25 homes. Eyewitness News reporter Naomi Peskovitz has been following the progress in the Princess Lakes area after the storm. Good afternoon to you from Prince's Lakes, Indiana, where they had an EF0 tornado on Sunday, and then, of course, that other round of storms. They're still picking up after the destruction. Several homes without power, several damaged by trees coming down and power lines across this town. We have with us here Charlie Bourne. He's the council president in Prince's Lakes. Thank you so much for joining us. Sorry about the way I look, but I'm still trying to clean up. I know. You guys have a lot of work to do. How's the cleanup been the last two days? Hectic. I mean, especially on Nash Drive and uh, Wolford, they really got tore up as far as trees going, but they're working on it. It's going to take probably a month or two before we get back to some sort of normalcy. Power back on for everybody? As far as I am aware, yes. Yes, yes. And Princess Lakes is not new to this. You guys have had weather problems in the past. <laughs> oh, yeah. We've been hit alone here with the flood and strong winds and tornadoes and straight line winds five times now. Five times within how long? Uh, since 94. Wow, and you guys are still here? You've been living in this house a long time. My wife says, I think it's time to move, but I don't think we will. We'll be here. Yeah. And it is really a beautiful town, and uh, just how much it's it's gotten better in the last couple of days here with all the cleanup. Yes, it has. It's, at least you can get up and down the roads now without having to dodge trees. And look, you see people just coming in to look. We've had a lot of that. Yeah. And we try to keep them out of town, but you can't stop everybody. You know, so. Well, we're glad to see you guys are making progress here. Again, probably another month or so of cleanup left in Prince's Lakes. But for now, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks so much, Naomi. And what we're doing right now is looking at the severe flooding right now in Portland, Indiana. That's in Jay County. Live images now from Chopper 13. For your reference, this is north of Richmond and about halfway north of Richmond to Fort Wayne. That's where Jay County is, and that's where you can see massive flooding. We did hear from viewer Mike Addington earlier today about how this whole town was underwater there. And you can just see extensive water around the homes and businesses in Jay County. So we're keeping an eye on that in Portland right now.